the number of integer solutions of the equation x square minus 10 whole part x square minus 3x minus 10 equal to 1 is a very beautiful question. First of all, something power 0 is 1. 1 power anything is 1. So what do we know? What do we now need to do? We have to solve for this going to 1 or this going to 0. Get those values substitute in the other part and then see if it is logical whether it does make sense and so what i'm going to do i'm going to solve two different equations i'm going to say x square minus 3x minus 10 equal to 0 get the answers i'm going to find x square minus 10 equal to 1 and get the answers and then think about simplifying this nice so x square minus 3x minus 10 is 0 or x minus 5 into x plus 2 equal to 0, x is 5 or x is minus 2. If there are 5, 5 square minus 10 whole power 0, that will be 1. If there are minus 2, minus 2 square which is 4 minus 10, minus 6, minus 6 power 0, that is 1. So 5 works, minus 2 works. Nice, brilliant. 1 power anything is 1. That is super interesting. So, we will say x square minus 10 is 1, x square is 11, x is plus or minus root 11. The two possible values, this could be root 11, which that could be a, some irrational thing. Uh, do we need to worry about it? I don't need to worry about it at all because in this case, we talk about integer solutions. x equal to plus root 11 minus root 11 simply doesn't work. If something per something is 1, either this base should be 1 or that number there should be 0. Put base equal to 1, solve, the exponent should be 0, solve, we are through. Have I completed everything? No, I have not. There is one more possibility here, which is minus 1 square is 1, minus 1 power 4 is 1, minus 1 power an even number is 1. So there is a possibility of that happening, in which case I have to verify that. So I am going to solve for x square minus 10 equal to minus 1 or x squared equal to minus 10, sorry, plus 10 minus 1, which is 9. That means x is equal to plus or minus 3. I got this far, but I cannot be sure that this will work because for plus 3 and minus 3, my exponent should be an integer. More than that, it should be an even number. If it's an even number, then I'm happy. But minus 1 power 101 will be minus 1. Minus 1 power 94 will be plus 1. To substitute x equal to plus 3 minus 3, I have to verify whether it turns out to be an even number. Let's do that. This is x minus 5 into x plus 2. I put 3, 3 minus 5 into 3 plus 2, which is minus 2 into 5, which is minus 10. Yeah, that works. I put minus 3, minus 3 minus 5 into minus 3 plus 2, minus 8 into minus 1 equal to 8. This also works. Both are even numbers, both work. Therefore, x could be 3 or minus 3. We already got that x could be 5 or minus 2. So, we have 5, minus 2, 3, minus 3. For 3 and minus 3, this goes to minus 1, that's an even number. We are very happy. For 5 and minus 2, this goes to some number that goes to 0. We are happy. Four different values are possible. Beautiful question.